Yeah, that's <laughs> we wow, what a what a reveal. Oh dear. Ah hi! It's me! Hello. It's me, Miss Kelly! Oh that's who you are. Yes! I I'm, didn't recognize you. I miss yeah, I miss Kelly. I know that I'm dressed up. Well see, here's the fun thing about Halloween, you see, is that you can dress up as other people. And today I've dressed up as none other than Willy Wonka! Have you seen Willy Wonka, Mr. Aaron? I have seen. I almost met because I almost won a golden ticket. You almost won a golden ticket? How'd you almost. lose a golden ticket? I, I was like 18 people like in line uh, behind Charlie Bucket. So. Uh, hi everyone! Hello, hello. It's uh, reading time at the Queens. Before I say another word, I'm just going to play our theme music. Here we go. Take a stand, make a scene. It's reading time with the Queens. <laughs> I know you've been hoping for reading time with the Queens. The library's open for reading time with the Queens. There's lots to know about the world today, so open a book, let's make our way. There's crafts to be No, it's not. Uh, does just, Willy Wonka laugh? I, I assume so at some point. In, in one of the movies he does, he's like, ha ah. ha Yeah, that's, that's, that's a thing. That's, that's a thing. Huh? thing. Well, I'm doing the original <laughs> Willy Wonka. Anyways, we're not really talking about Willy Wonka, but the yeah. reason that I dressed up like Willy Wonka is because the theme of today's reading time is sweet and spooky. Which is why I dressed up as well. Yes, I, yes, I love your Mr. Aaron costume, Mr. I know, Aaron. it's authentic, it's mm -hmm. original. Really? And nobody else has one. That is spooky. Yeah, it's very spooky. <laughs> I know, it's absolutely. <laughs> very sweet and spooky. There we go. Yeah. Well, yeah, so we're gonna be learning about all things sweet and spooky. It is Halloween, it is spooky season, but another thing about Halloween is that there's all this candy involved, so we're gonna be reading some books about candy, reading some books about Halloween. It's gonna be a wonderful time. Before we move on, we need to learn our signs so that we can use sign language throughout the rest of reading time. Also get those signs up in our noggins so we can use them out in the rest of the world. You're talking about the like the hazard sign, the crosswalk signs. No. The don't run over kids. Don't well, get run over while yeah, you're trick-or-treating. You shouldn't, yeah, we shouldn't do that. Definitely. So make sure you're watching out for cars where you're trick-or-treating. No, I'm talking about um, ASL, American Sign Language. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. And I don't know if you know this person, um, he's actually your husband, and oh he's going to be teaching us some signs. Hello! Hello, thank you for joining me. Happy to join. I didn't realize we were supposed to dress up. Well, I, I thought you dressed up as like a, a lumberjack type. That's the look you're going for, right? With the beard and... You could say that. There we go. Maybe you relax, like weekend lumber, lumberjack. There we go, there we go. Weekend Lumberjack, Mr. Zay. Mm -hmm. All right, so we've got several signs today, right? Okay, so what? Okay, they're all related with the theme. Of course, we like to stay with theme, so that's good. We're starting with the, the word sweet, sweet. Okay, all right, so hold a hand and just, it's just touching your chin a little bit, sweet, sweet. Okay, all right. And spooky. Okay, I like spooky. There's a few different signs for spooky. You can sign it spooky, spooky, or spooky. Why are there different? Oh, so this one's like a ghost, or or things are just spooky. Ooh, I I think yeah, spooky, scary, just kind of startling. I like spooky. Yeah. So uh, I'll probably use spooky. Cool, okay. So we've got sweet, we've got spooky or spooky. And then we've got one of the books that we're reading later is about parents. Okay, that makes Bow. sense. Bow. 
Okay, so we're going to take your whole hand. It's going to be, your thumb is going to touch your chin, and then your forehead. So parents or down parents. There's no real correct way to start. You can start the forehead or the chin. But you remember complete both parents. Because this down here on the chin is mom. And then this on the forehead is dad. Okay, all right. So that makes sense why the sign is parents. Yeah, there you go. Okay, what about families that have two moms or two dads? Would you still sign it the same way? Okay, cool. Things you know. Okay, so parents, then mom, and dad. You can make it completely complicated by mom and, and dad parents, but still not as clear to me. So I would sign parents no matter what. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for sharing that. Be sure, be sure to sign with us as you hear the word. So let's reveal it one more time and then we can move to the books, right? Okay, so sweet, spooky, parents, and then dad and mom. All right, thank you. Enjoy the books and music. Thank you, Mr. Zay. You're welcome, Mr. Aaron. All right. Bye. We'll see you again. I'm I'm sweet and spooky. That's, yep. That's There's nice. no like combined sign for that, so it's no. it's just sweet and spooky. Sweet and there you go. So what are we doing next? We're gonna read a book. We're gonna read. A book. I know. Well, We're here at reading time. Read I'm gonna read a book. Go for it. And then, uh, where is that book? Oh, here it is. It is a book about sweets, so this is the sweet part of the program. It's called, Are You Eating Candy Without Me? Probably. <gasps> yeah, so that's the book. So you see there's a child and they're very irked at the fact that someone could be eating candy without them. Rude. Yeah. I, I as a purveyor of, you know, like a Willy Wonka type today, I, I love candy. Candy is very much my wheelhouse, so this is why I'm reading this book. Um, <laughs> this book is by Draga Jenny Malasevic. And it's illustrated by Charlotte Rugen. So there we go. Awesome. Ready to start this book? Let's do this. Here we go. Are you eating candy without me? Okay. It's time to talk. We've been thinking about this quite a lot. Who's been thinking about this? Oh, you can see it is these children. They have something to say about- How many children? I didn't- Yeah, oh. so the four. So four these kids. four kids, okay. they, they have something to say. They've been thinking about it quite a lot. Ooh. With you, every day is an adventure. We always have so much fun. Yes, good. So, and, and they're talking to their parents. Yeah. Parents. Their parents. 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 So this is, this is probably looks like that might be their, 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 their mom or their gra grandma. Yep. Um, and this looks like that might be their their dad. So they, they always have so much fun with their parents every single day. I'm sure that you probably have fun with your parents every single day too, or at least most of the time. Every day's an adventure. <laughs> every day's an adventure. I know that you are busy and sometimes you're in a rush. I wonder, what do you do without me? So there's mom rushing off to work right there. Works in a big city. Saying bye. So they're, they're there on the car and they're saying bye, I have to go to work. Do all the rules still apply when I'm not home? Do you wonder about this? Did you ever wonder about this when you were a kid? I, I did for a little while and realized that I just need to be on my best behavior no matter what. That is, that is very true. So. But you have, do you ever wonder what your parents were doing while you were away? All of Were they having all kinds of fun? Time. See, the, this they're imagining um, yeah, so the rules are applying. So, you know, this, this parent always says, be neat. Don't chew with your mouth open. Very important. Be kind to others. That's something we're very important here at Reading Time, yes. be kind to others. Do you like to give advice when I'm not around? So this parent works at a construction site. And the advice they're giving is, let's all pitch in, be safe, and stay focused. Working at the construction site. Do you tell other people what to do? As parents are off to do for kids, yeah. So this parent saying, don't pick your nose to one of their coworkers. 
eat all your veggies to another one of their coworkers. No playing ball inside. Important, important <laughs> things to remember. Yeah. Or, let's see, there we go. The kids are asking the parents. Or, uh-oh. Do you go to fancy parties with ice cream, cake, and ponies? Look at that. That's also, <laughs> all the parents are going to parties with ice cream. And ponies. Of course, parties always have ice cream, cake, and ponies. Ponies, not yeah. that. Uh, yeah, uh, well, well aware that every party that parents are going to every round around has ponies. Everyone. Do you climb every tree until you get to the top? Probably. So they, they climb trees. See, I like in this in this uh, this is fantasy land that the trees are made of candy. Remember yeah. The, the candy tree. Very nice. Did you never play Candyland? I I played Candyland, but I haven't seen a candy tree in person. <laughs> okay, true. Neither yeah. have I. Yeah. Do you dress up in bright costumes and pretend you're in a play? Every every day. day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what adults are doing. This is what they're not telling you. This is what parents are up to. See, they're pretending they're in a play in like a candy, in a candy palace. Ooh, ooh. Very silly. Oh, so sweet. Yeah, very sweet. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Are you jumping on trampolines? Trampolines? Ah! <laughs> this no. is what parents are doing when you're not around. No. But what I really want to know is, are you eating candy without me? Look at that, they're all eating candy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the sugar rush The sugar is rush, yeah. That's what they're getting up to. Are you filling your mouth with gumdrops? Ooh, Are you swimming in a chocolate fountain? No, way too dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, filling your mouth with gumdrops. Chocolate fountain, the fountain has a scuba scoop and everything. Mm -hmm. Are you swinging on vines made of licorice? Only if they're red. Are you blowing to the world's biggest bubble? Nope. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Did not work. Look at all this candy related fun that they're having. All without the kids around. Yep. I, do you, do you, sometimes, sometimes you feel like that, that your, your parents are like having fun when you're not around, where you're at school, having just school work. You yeah. Know, going to the doctor's appointment and they're just eating candy. I swear there's one day I came home from school and there may or may not have been like silly string around the house. <laughs> they forgot to clean up before you came. Fully cleaned up. <laughs> I didn't ask questions. I just assumed that they had fun without me. They had a party. I was very upset. Well, I know you're not because you think about me all day long. That's very true. So you hope I'm safe and happy, that I ate my greens, and that I care about others. That sounds like me thinking about you. Oh, I know you think about me all day long. I do. So there they are. So thinking about them all day long without work, you know, making sure that they're working and thinking about making sure their kids are safe and happy, that they're eating healthy foods, and that they're loving each other, everybody that's they're around them. <laughs> and I know that you would never eat candy without me. So there they are. They're just parents tucking in their kids for night. I look this one. This is this is my favorite one. The dad fell asleep uh, reading a bedtime story to their kids. <laughs> That's how I want to be. Yeah, yeah. So I know that you would never eat candy without me, right? Right. Ooh. Not even candy without me. Man, it was getting mellow, time to go to bed, yeah, I know. and then, <laughs> whoa! And that's, and that's the spooky ending to this very sweet book. That was a sugar explosion. <laughs> there you go, there's Are You Eating Candy Without Me? Never. Never, I guess, Never. yeah. That's, um, here's the thing about um, thinking about what your parents are doing while you're not around, is that the truth of it is that they are doing very hard work. Yes. All the time. And making sure that you are safe and sound, and also that there's food on the table, that you have healthy, healthy food to eat. Yep, not just candy. Not just candy. But um, the thing about working all the time is that it gets very exhausting. 
And so sometimes having a little bit of sweetness throughout the day is a really important thing to do. Right, which is why I eat a candy bar every day. Exactly. I have a song that I think you might know. It's about, you know, having just a little bit of sweetness with all the work that you have to do. Are you ready for this? I am ready for this. Well, let's, let's, let's go, let's do it, let's do it. <clears throat> oh, you don't want me to sing, do you? Oh. Not, not this time. Okay. You might, you might. If you know it, you can sing along. Okay. And you too. You can sing along. Absolutely. Too. Maybe I'll try. We'll see. <laughs> In every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. You find the fun, and snap! The job's a game. And every task you undertake becomes a piece of cake. A lark, a spree. It's very clear to see. That a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. The medicine go down. Medicine go down. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. Yeah, you know it. I know some of it. A robin feathering in his nest has very little time to rest while gathering his bits of twine and twig. Quite intent in his pursuit, he has a merry tune to tune. He knows a song will move the job along. You guys never sing with me, and today was the biggest I said you could. Absolutely. Or a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Go down. The medicine go down. Go down. The medicine go down. Go down. Go down. Just a Kits from EO Key, the library, or the bookshelf in Idaho Falls, you will be ready to do a boo on a stick. Boo! Boo! Uh, craft Ooh. with Miss Barb and special guest, Mr. Buster, which you might already know is here, so here we go! Hi, I'm Miss Barb. This I'm is Mr. Buster. Also known today as who? Buster. Buster the, the Bavarian. Bavarian. Yeah. And I'm Miss Barb the candy corn. <laughs> the candy corn? The candy corn. Are you candy corn? I'm candy corn. Okay. There we go. It's very sweet. Yes. Okay. Hi. Today we are making booze on a stick. Booze on a stick? Yes. <laughs> Woo. We have our little ghost, our little pumpkin, and our witch. This is very serious. It is. <laughs> All right. Scary. Um, for those of you who got the craft kits, everything that you'll need other than the glue. And the scissors, I guess, are in the little kits. For those of you just following along with us today, um, we'll show you what we're using. And also, you can go to the Reading Time with the Queens uh, website and go to the Craft Corner section. And all the um, 
templates are there for printing. All the directions are there for making. But let's see. We have. Where are we gonna start? Where are we gonna start? We have sticks. These are like just uh, what are they? Oh, cake pop, cake pop sticks. And these are just little styrofoam balls that were um, about the size of ping pong balls. And, and we need all three. Well, one at a time. Okay. One at a time. Um, in addition to that, um, those templates will give you the sizing information, but it's just tissue paper that we're getting. And we've got white for the ghost, green for the witch. Guess what and this one is. That one is. Okay. Oh, what? As far as the pumpkin, you can see how it sits on its its uh, tail. Oops. So there's a penny. Ooh. There's a penny there at the bottom to make a flat surface. Um, okay, and then we have, oh, yep, we have rubber bands to attach the tissue paper to the, the star foam. And then we have our little chenille sticks, our pipe cleaners in various and assorted colors to make the decorations. All right, let's see. We shall, I'm gonna have you start with oh, no. the witch. This is intense. So, Grab a stick. I'm gonna make one too. So grab a stick, grab, grab a ball. Okay, grab a ball. Yep. Real, real tough. Shove it in there. Shove it in there. All right. But not all the way through, not though, all right? The way through. Okay. okay. Just about halfway. About halfway. Does it look good? If it goes through, it just push it back in. Is that good? Yep. Okay. okay. All right. Let's see. You were. What were you making? The gu the witch. I'm gonna make the witch. Okay. So yeah, it's just a matter of centering it, finding the center, mm -hmm. and. Putting it down. And is that right? Yep. We mostly just want to get it there, and then we'll fluff it here. Just I'm gonna a fluff minute. it. Okay, so just wrap that around a few times. Okay. This is my first time making a witch. Making a witch. Boo on a stick witch. Boo on a stick witch. Ooh. Doing pretty good. Yeah. Fluff it. Fluff it. Fluff it. We'll fluff it just. Oh, not yet. Just in no a minute. Yet. Let's see. What color shall we make her necktie with? Let's make. Should we use green? Should Can we, we use, use purple? Yes. I think it'll stand out more. Yes. Okay. So just wrap that um, around and on the ends just kind of make some twirls and twists. Woo! Some loops or There we go. Something. Like a little fun bow tie. Like Miss Callie's bow tie right here. Mm -hmm. Inspiration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the witch's hat. Oh, good series. It actually was easier than I thought. I was kind of getting afraid of it, but once I sat down and looked, it really wasn't that hard. So you want to take the two black sticks and you want to twist the ends together so you have one black stick. I'm prepared for my hat with fitting. So mm -hmm. you start with the marker. Mm. The marker is twofold. It's a it's a witch hat maker as I did well not see as this a happening. witch face maker. Oh, okay. I didn't see this happening. So basically, we're getting well. This is actually wider than my pinky, isn't it? So I'm going to start with my pinky. This is like a custom made hat. <laughs> it is. <laughs> so you just want to wrap about three times. Then you want to get to something a little larger, which is, we'll use the marker. Basically, we're making a coil. <laughs> But it needs to get wider. Can, Here, I, can, can you I hold the witch's yeah. hat? Mm. I'm going to take this piece of chenille stick and I'm going to just put the ends together and twist to make just a circle. Twist. Oh, it. oh hat hat down. Down. I know, hat down until we get the glue on. All right. You got it? I need hat. Hat. If it's too big, twist the, twist the green. So we can shrink the dimension. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Let's tighten it up just a little. I got it. We're here. All right. We've arrived. Flip said hat over. Flip hat over. Okay, and let's um, so get the glue all around the black edge. It sometimes is a little tough to get out. Um, and I've used our um, tacky glue like we used for our puppets because I'm not, I wasn't sure if the white glue would work or not. So I just went ahead and- Isn't this glue white? 
Well, it's not Elmer's glue. It's a special glue called Tacky Glue. What makes it so special? Right. It's tacky. It's tacky. Put her necktie on the opposite side. Yeah, over here, like that. Ooh. Boop. This is the basic witch, but of course she needs to dry. And she will need to fluff. Put some glue on the top long edge of the this edge? black tissue. This yep, edge? All the way across. Mm -hmm. Don't get it on the table like another member of our team. It's gonna I'm, happen. This I'm is sorry. why it's tacky. Yes. Here, you know what? Here's plenty yeah, of glue. I think I got some, yeah. Let's make this work. Yeah, just put that around the edge. it's tacky here to there do you see how it just yeah <laughs> hey guys this really is cute this switch is gonna be the best switch you've ever made there oh god i got it, got it? yes okay. okay all right great at this point she just needs to dry okay but it's not after time she's yet. dry you'll want to fluff her little skirt and you'll um you know adjust her hat and Position everything nicer, and but when it's glue, it's it's pretty sturdy, so That's you'll sturdy. be able to fluff things and make a cute little face. Okay. Okay. I can be done with that. All right. So I'll come back to you later. Yes. Which one's next? We're gonna make the pumpkin. Um, the ghost is very self-explanatory. So we are gonna make the pumpkin. Pumpkin time! Pumpkin time! So I like to carve pumpkins. Do you like to carve pumpkins? No. You know why? Do you not like pumpkin seeds? The, they make me itch. I think I'm allergic to them. Oh no! Oh, let's get. We gotta hurry though. No, I know. So we have our green <laughs> tissue. We have our orange <laughs> tissue. We have our penny to help it stand up. And I just take the penny in the middle of the green. Do you know? Yeah, show the children. Show children. Gotta get. We gotta get close. And then we layer the orange right in the center in the center in the center see we have it nice okay. and centered then we flip it over so the orange is on the bottom why do we do that so the orange can be on the outside oh okay that makes sense so find the penny plop your stick and i'm gonna hold on tight hold on tight and then just gather 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 everything at the same time Ooh. So the green acts like the stem, the leaves. Okay. This is so creative. Let's lift it up. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. Rubber band? Rubber band. Rubber band time. Yep. Then give it a couple of twists and turns. Yeah, rubber band a lot harder doing it that one. Okay. Yeah. You that's tight enough? Is that tight enough? Probably. Or do I need another one? Maybe one more for good measure. All right, good measure. There we uh, go. Fluffing, 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 fluffing. <laughs> okay. There are no mistakes here, just creativity. All right, and then just go to town. Do they have a longer one? Because I know that we need um, this one longer. I'm trying to remember what I sent. I believe I sent you... If if you're doing this on your own without the craft kit, you'll just use a whole stick. You, it won't be cut in half already. But I believe in the craft kits, I cut them in half. At which point you'll need to put them together and just give them a little twist so they turn into one stick. Okay. And then you just want to start, actually start on an end. Oh, okay. And just wrap it so it's kind of like, like the like witch's this? hat. So like it this? just is kind of on top of its, like itself. So it's a little tall. Mm -hmm. Am I doing pretty good? You're doing great. Woohoo! And then as you get to the end, you'll just want to just like um, tuck it up in. Tuck it up in, see if what you can find to wrap around it. Okay, there we go. Woo! I did it! Does it stand? Did you do it too? Alright, the See, test. The test. The test of time. Alright! Woo! Celebrate with some right. milk. Okay. This will get fluffed. Let's draw faces. Face time. Eyes, nose, mouth. However you care to do it. I got this one got kind of carried away with the eyebrows. But it's all creativity. Right? 
exactly like right now it's happening. Boop. There we go. And in. Her nose is kind of scary. I gotta put that in. Yikes. Oh, there we go. Okay. Look at there we go. What do you think about it, Spark? She's good. Sweet. She's good. She's good. This is what I want my pumpkin to look like later today. I'm gonna cover pumpkin later and it's gonna look just like this. Yes, and see, you can kind of just mess mess with our hat and squeeze it and tuck it and twist it, however, whatever it needs to there you go. be so cute. As I look. Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's what my pumpkin's gonna look like later, everybody. Yes. And then, like I said, we're um, gonna pass on actually making the ghost, but like I said, super simple. You can do it. So that's you just take like the leftover and then kind of do it like we did the witch. Yeah. Just. Just, <laughs> yep, just a matter of covering with the paper, <laughs> doing the rubber band, and twisting the last piece of the nails a little off. There we go. Blue on a stick! Woo! Blue on a stick. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh, scary. Sorry, I guess. Mr. Buster. Whoop. The ghost scary. scary. Oh, this is very, oh, this is right at my wheelhouse, as I right? said. Yeah, it's like, it's it's candy. It's like candy, but it's not candy, so don't eat this, right? <coughs> no. No, don't, definitely don't, don't eat, eat that. Don't eat this. <laughs> oh, one more thing. Oh. Please, I'm so sorry. Um, the directions that um, are in the, um, the Reading Time um, blog website thing call for using Tootsie Pops. So that's the, you, they usually don't oh, you sweet. Oh, you could make it sweet, tr sweet candy. But for whatever reason, I chose to do these little balls. But um, the Tootsie Pop is the ingredient. You can make them act out of actual Tootsie Pops, actual yeah, candy. Actual candy. Woo, woo, Very cool. Woo. Miss Barb and Mr. <laughs> Buster the Bavarian, thank you so much for showing right. us this craft. It was great. I loved it. Thank you very much. Mr. Right. Buster, yeah, toast. To, to the to the craft to the craft yeah very good yeah um hey, so hey we're sweet and spooky too yeah very very nice it's, it's good <laughs> it's great um so anyways mr buster would you like to read a book now you don't want any milk i appreciate the share but i'm cheers to us there you go so right. what in the world are you gonna do we and i you and i we are gonna read a book about someone's first Halloween, Ooh. their experience. So it's gonna be sweet with candy and spooky because it's the first experience. Exactly. Awesome. It's gonna be very exciting I and frightening. I am frightened, frightfully excited. Do you remember your first Halloween as no. a child? No. I do not. Do you remember any of them as a child? Many of them. Many of them. What's your favorite memory? Uh, you know what? I I remember that my family and I went and had a big party, went to a big party with a bunch of big other party. kids. Yeah, party, party, party absolutely. Party. Uh, with a bunch of other kids and we actually had like little rooms with different themes with them. Oh, and we got fun. candy at, at all these different rooms. Oh, so I mean, it was a lot of fun. It was with a bunch of people too. That was so. super fun. Yeah. I just go trick or treating around my neighborhood with my friends. Nice. And then, <clears throat> Being in Pocatello, we used to do a trick-or-treat in school and go around to all the other classrooms and pick up treats and yep. wear our costumes at school. Yes, yes, we did that as well. Are you right. ready for this book? I am so I'm excited ready for, for this. this book. What's it called? Herbert's First Halloween. 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 Herbert and Halloween, I love it. It is written by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Stephen Henry. There we go, all right. You ready for those signs, guys? Herbert was not sure about Halloween. Here's Herbert, right here. He's very unsure of yeah. what to expect on this holiday season. That's, that's fair. Let's figure out if we can help him figure out what's going on. Herbert's father loved Halloween. He was very excited that this was Herbert's first. So father, dad, right there. Beautiful. Mm. Here's Herbert's father, and he's getting really excited. He's got a whole trunk somewhere in this area of goodies and costumes. Yeah. Ooh, there's a monkey and a bear. And a cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Yes. And a mask. Ooh, all right. We get Zorro. Ooh, Herbert. Fight crime. <laughs> Herbert's father showed him an old photograph of him when he was a little boy on Halloween. 
it was hard for Herbert to know if it was actually him under that cowboy hat. Hmm. Let's look here. Let's take a closer look. Right here. What do you think? Does that look like Herbert's dad? Could be. <clears throat> Could be. And anyway, he's got a lasso around the puppy. Do we all That's see that? That's cute. Look at that. How cute is that? We're lassoing the puppy. That's when I was three, said Herbert's father. Herbert was still not sure. Mm. Very unsure. I didn't want to be spooky, said Herbert's father. I wanted to be a cowboy. Can I be a cowboy, asked Herbert. Yes, you can, said Herbert's father. Good. Here we go. Just taking a look at that cowboy hat. It looks mighty fine. Can I be a tiger, asked Herbert. Yes, said his father. As you can see, he's being inspired by his favorite stuffed animal. And I love how his dad is so inspired, is so supportive. Yes, you can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want to be. Exactly. I love it. It's very supportive and caring. <clears throat> Herbert's father measured from Herbert from head to toe. <clears throat> he measured him from ears to ears. He measured him for for a tail. And he measured him for paws and claws. Ooh. So here we are doing the measuring. It's very important that we get these precise, especially when making a, an exact designer costume. Exactly. Miss Kelly would know about that. Uh huh. She always has fabulous costumes. She really does. And she makes most of them herself. So amazing. <sighs> Herbert asked, Can I roar? The answer was, yes! Yes. Herbert would roar on Halloween. He practiced in his closet. Do we want to practice roaring with Herbert? Ready? You got to do it with me. Okay. Ready? One, two, two, three. Roar! All right. All right, see, look, we're practicing with Herbert. I think he went in the closet so he wouldn't disturb his father while he was trying to sleep. Very smart. Very practice we do this mm -hmm. in the evening time. Yeah. Herbert's father carved a Halloween pumpkin. He gave it a big smile because the pumpkin was so happy to be at Herbert's house. I would be too. It sounds like a happy house. It really does. Let's see what we got. This looks like my pumpkin I just made in Craft Corner. And this is what it's going to look like later too. I love it. They named it Jack and put it on the porch. Here's Herbert's father letting everyone in the neighborhood to see it. It's very nice, especially when you do something like that and you, you take the time to carve it. You want to share it with others yeah. and show them. It's, it's a craft. Exactly. And you have to show those designer things. Please. Do you have a pumpkin at your house? I do, actually. Do you? I do. That is so cool. I know. It's gorgeous. I bought this uh, refurbished gas can with a Frankenstein carved out of it, and I put lights in it. It looks super spooky. Very nice. Yeah. Herbert's father told Herbert about the candy. Ooh, candy. That's a sign we didn't go over, but candy. It's a delicious sweet. On Halloween, it's everywhere, said Herbert's father. Everywhere? Everywhere. You will need a bucket, said Herbert's father. A bucket, asked Herbert. A big one, said Herbert's father, while sewing up a very fine tiger tail. See, they're discussing these things while getting ready for bed. Let's see. Where are we off to now? Where do you think we're heading? Uh, well, we've got a tail, we've got a bucket. I think he just has to put on his costume. Is it costume time? Is it candy so. time? I think candy so. Time? Yes. Let's find out. On the last day of October, Jack put on his biggest, brightest smile, and Herbert put on his costume. There you go. There see? Go. Jack the pumpkin with a smile. Told ya. Told ya. <laughs> First the ears, yes. Then the tail, mm -hmm. then the paws and claws. Here we are. We're getting ready. We're getting ready to go. Yes, Herbert is a pig, Nikki. <laughs> Actually, Herbert is a tiger now. Herbert is now a tiger. We have transformed. Herbert took his father's hand. I'm ready, said Herbert. And because he had been practicing, Herbert gave. A fine roar. Ready? Roar. Oh, sorry. One, yeah. two, roar! There we go. Look it, we're just like Herbert. It's we're having so much fun. fun. Yes. As they walked from house to house, Herbert saw other children in their costumes. 
that there's at least one other tiger. Can you see your favorite <laughs> one? Which one are you going to be this year? Can we see it? Hmm. There's a lot of choices at this time of year. Very we got nice. ghosts, an astronaut, princes, grapes. grapes, yeah, pirates, bumblebees. There we go. <laughs> the little ghost said boo, Woo! but Herbert said rar. <laughs> Just as Herbert's father had promised, candy was everywhere. Herbert roared many tiger thank yous. Always nice to say thank you. Especially in a RAR. Exactly. Very, very nice. Then it was time to go home. You were a very good tiger, said Herbert's father. I might be a bear next time, said Herbert. Bears can be scary, oh, scary. said Herbert's father. Are you sure? Herbert gave it some thought. The answer was yes! And then his dad put on his old cowboy costume. They're going on home to enjoy some candy together, hopefully. He was sure. And there he is, Bear Herbert Bear. enjoying all the candy by himself. Very nice. It was a fun first experience. It was a very fun first experience for Halloween. Yeah. Is anyone else having their first experience with Halloween this year? Anyone? If you are, tell us about it. Let us know. Yeah, yeah exactly. I feel like that's great, sir. Yeah. Send us some pictures of your costumes. We'd love to see them. Exactly. All right. Now I'm going to hand it back over to Miss Kelly. Let me, I'm, can I sit now? Oh, Steve, real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't spill my milk. Oh, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> da, 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 da. Yeah. Woo! This is a fun couch. Mm. Yeah, look at that. Uh, Mr. Professor, I really liked your, your story. Thank you so much for doing Craft Corner and also this amazing story. Yes. I had so much fun. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, of Thanks course. so much, Barb, for having me in Craft Corner. Yeah. It was a, it's a good, it's a good uh, story, I think, not only to learn about Halloween, you know, the basics, but also I, I really liked how they were able to get together and his dad was able to help him with that costume. Yes. That was a very fun costume. It was like a family, it was family event. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, with the, with the, it's it's uh, it's nice when your parents are, are helping you with Halloween and helping you, you know, be who you, who you want to be for Halloween. Yeah, exactly. it's a good time. And I really like your your uh, your Bavarian costume, Mr. Buster the Bavarian. It's really nice. Also authentic. I'm very sure. authentic, and yes, and it's very sweet and spooky. Well, I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing the last song. Um, Do you want me to stay here? Uh, you, Let's sing it together. You can. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. We'll do it all together. Yeah, you asked for it. Yeah, I know I did. What, what can I say? It's excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, what is that? It, it is a little shaker. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So you're going to shake along? Just, just in case, uh, you know, I have any rhythm at all, we'll find out. Okay. Yes. So here's the here's what's happening in this song. Just like um, in Mr. Buster's book, we were deciding what we wanted to be for Halloween. I'm going to pretend that I'm deciding what I'm going to be for Halloween. Pay no attention to the fact that I'm actually with Wonka right now. I'm going to be thinking about what I want to be for Halloween. And so I'm going to give you clues in the lyrics about what I'm going to be for Halloween. And you have to guess. So are you ready I'm to guess? Okay. Guess what I'm going to be for Halloween. Okay, ready? Yeah, Here we go. What am I going to be? What am I going to be? I want to wear a Halloween costume. Will anybody recognize me? Got a great idea. I'll wear a suit all made of fur. Ooh, what am I gonna be? I'll have a big mane and I'll say roar. What am I gonna be? A tiger. Oh, I, I was gonna tiger. Close, but I have a mane, so a lion. Yes, yes. Uh, you guess. No. When you see a lion, it could be me. What am I gonna be? What am I gonna be? I a wanna lion. wear a Halloween costume. Anybody recognize me? Wait! I have a great idea. I'll wear clothes that are entirely black. What am I gonna be? Warlock. I'll have a broomstick and a pointy hat. Oh, what am I gonna be? I think I'm close. A leopard? What? A spooky witch. Yes, a witch! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you see a witch, it could be me. What am I gonna be? What am I gonna be? I wanna wear a Halloween costume. Will anybody recognize me? Probably not. Wait! 
I've got a great idea. Oh, oh here we go. I'll wear a sash around my waist. What am I gonna be? Okay. I'll get an eye patch and carry a sword. What am I gonna be? Uh, is that strange guy that has the candy store down the street? No. A sparrow? No. Oh, a pirate. from a couple months back, almost over a year ago. But she was here, um, and she's coming again to have, what are you guys doing? We're gonna make, we're making jack-o'-lanterns. It's gonna be me, Mr. Lance, Miss Aris, and Mr. Aaron. And yes, you'll see that premiering next Saturday, hopefully. Yeah, and that's that's just my little notice about that. Anyways. Have a wonderful Halloween. Thank you so much for being here. Have a sweet and spooky time. All right. Happy Halloween. Bye. Bye. Trick or treat. Woo. Trick or treat. Um, nom, 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 nom. Yeah, yeah. Go back. Go back. That was really soft. Will you stop this before Someone should probably. Yeah. Can you stop this before? I don't know. Can Miss Barb? Happy Halloween, everyone. Trick or treat. That was like a cat man. It's finished. Have fun. Be safe, everybody. You know what to do. Okay, I got it. Love you guys. Bye.